Well, our country really has gone off the rails. Commissioner suggests United Nations send troops to Chicago to fight the quiet genocide of gun violence. That's right, American law enforcement, you are not up for it. You just can't do it. We have to call in the United Nations, the peacekeepers. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, you want to talk being taken over? I'm hoping to appeal to the United Nations to actually come to Chicago and meet with victims of violence and maybe even possibly help out in terms of peacekeeping efforts because I think it's so critical for us to make sure that these neighborhoods are safe. Okay, um, this is the Cook County Commissioner, Richard Boykin. This is really, uh, what, what, what can you say? Heavily armed United Nations peacekeepers operating in some of the most dangerous corners of the earth. Now there's a push to bring them here. Good evening, I'm Rob Johnson. And I'm Erica Sargent. A Cook County commissioner wants to get the peacekeepers to Chicago to battle our violence problem. But it would be an unusual move. Consider this from a UN promotional video. Peacekeepers often operate in hostile environments where others cannot or will not go. CBS 2 political reporter Derek Blakely picks up our story. They've helped stop the fighting in war-torn hotspots across the globe, from Syria to Sierra Leone. Now, a Cook County commissioner is appealing for U.N. peacekeepers in Chicago's crime-ridden neighborhoods. I know that uh, there are those who say that this is an admission that we can't protect the people in the city, but quite frankly, we haven't protected them. But one West Side alderman whose ward is plagued by violence rejects the military analogy. This is not war. I mean, we may have, have some daunting statistics, but again, uh, military intervention is not the answer. Alderman Irvin says it's an economic intervention, not a military one, that's needed to stop Chicago's violence, jobs, and investment. And Mayor Emanuel insists progress in crime-fighting technology and community policing is reducing shootings and killings in high-crime areas like Englewood. For all of us that know what Englewood has stood for before, it's different. And it's the residents saying it. It's not some social scientist saying it. Tonight, after the meeting, Boykin said the Assistant Secretary General told him one circumstance under which he might come to Chicago. There is a global study that the UN is working on regarding youth and violence. Once that is published, he said that he'd be delighted to receive my invitation to come and to talk about the contents of that study. Now, according to Boykin, the Assistant Secretary General also said the U.S. mission at the UN could invite him to Chicago as well, but that is even more unlikely. And either possibility is a far cry from peacekeeping forces on Chicago streets. Nevertheless, Boykin insists that Chicago needs help, desperately needs help, and that too many Chicago officials want the public here to turn a blind eye to inner city violence. Robin Erica, a lot of politicians. Well, what do you think? Uh, are they just now preparing Americans for United Nation peacekeepers to be on the streets of the United Nation of the United well it is the United Nations Jesus the United States is no longer it is no longer it has been taken over by treasonous I'm not gonna say it but really treasonous people who are handing it over to the United Nations Wow. Well, um, I don't think it's going to happen, but just that a commissioner anywhere in the United States is calling for the United Nations peacekeepers to come in to anywhere. It's okay. This country has changed.